What is up, pouch boys and pouch gals? It is your cyberspace pal Zero with another episode of his pouch dump feature. <sighs> but this week we're doing it in my parents' basement because we're down here in the Ohio Valley to go trick or treating. Uh, here's the pouch. We've got the Mighty Pouch Plus from Garage Built Gear in Woodland Camo. Got zipper pulls by the Fantastic Phantom from Workerman and a combat bead that's made out of carbon fiber and some green stuff. On the REs, we still rocking these spooky boys. The two Workerman pumpkins, the Workerman peeker, the new blue boo from Toxic Patch Co., uh, OEG EDC and EDC Booze Ghost, and the ghost of Jason Voorhees from Digital Decay 702. On the inside of the pouch, um, Got a bunch of gear in here for All Hallows Eve. I got a hank because I don't want things to go clank when I close it up. So the hank for tonight is the glow in the dark damn hanks spider webs. Thanks, buddies. I appreciate you making all these hanks at my request. Uh, I've got one of my bigger knives for a change. Um, this is the Spider Co. Pair 3. Part of the joy of carrying a pouch, right, is that you can put things that you don't want to put in your pockets in it. I like this knife so much. The ergos are so good. Um, it's got this great front finger choil on the back. I've got like a super huge lanyard on it uh, with a sacred terror skull from Plague that's oiled, I think. Um, the paracord's called Nightmare from Board Paracord. I, I love the lock and everything. It's just, it's big for me. Um, spooky season is still upon us. I've got the EDC booze blood money on me. You never know when things are going to go awry, so I've got a wrench in my pocket from Big Eye Design. That also can kind of double as a fidget toy. Speaking of Big Eye Design, I've got my pen, the Big Eye Design mini pen in brass. And then I've also got my nail clippers, which are the three swords. Because it's a spooky night on All Hallows Eve, I've got a UV flashlight. This is the Rory V Van Aurora A8 Pro with a sacred terror skull that's just polished. It's the bigger size one. I've got a bunch of glow-in-the-dark stuff on me today. I don't know if you're ever going to see it in here, but this is a little glow-in-the-dark bone from Antique Bloodlust that I'm going to be rocking this evening. And then in the back here from the Darth Nader giveaway, this is this cool glow-in-the-dark Lucha Libre face. So this guy's going to come with us while we go trick-or-treating this evening. So you might see some spooky glow-in-the-dark pics from me on Instagram if you follow me. Which, if you're here, well, you should be, obviously. So yeah, that's, uh, that's what's in the pouch. Let me show you what I got on me as well, too. In the right front pocket. I, well, first of all, I got Halloween jack-o'-lantern underwear on. Uh, in addition to the UV flashlight in my actual ready-to-go-at-any-moment pocket, I have a regular flashlight. This is the 300 lumen um, Aurora A... Wow, that's, this is the Aurora. This is the Nightcore Tiki with the OEG EDC Ghost Speed on it. Um, this guy glows in the dark as well, too. In the fifth pocket here, that's, oh, I got the Savivi Kiwi in JG10. It's a little front flipper, double detent, tiny pocket knife, no lock. In West Virginia, doesn't matter what to have a lock or not. I've got the Black Cross Leather Space Pirate Omen Slip with the Scoop, the Damn Designs Monstera, and the Omen Bead. On the Omen game today, we've got the Goat. And I've whole been holding this glow-in-the-dark light just for this moment because Monster Bone has not seen any light today. So this will be on my finger trick-or-treating this evening. Well, enjoy your spooky time, friends. Uh, if you like this video, comment down below what your favorite piece of gear in it was. I appreciate you very much. Have yourselves a wonderful Halloween. Woo!